In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a ketone from a nitrile compound. Let's jump right in. I'm going to take a nitrile compound, and this would be linear. I'm just going to draw it to the side a little bit, and I'm going to turn that into this ketone compound. So I need another carbon group on the other side. So I want you to see this nitrile as a hidden carbonyl. This will turn into this. But I need another R group to come in and attack. So I need a carbon that is an attacking carbon that will come in and attack that carbon right there. So I could use a Grignard reagent as my attacking carbon group. These are the same thing. So this negative carbon attacks this carbon. That would be one, two, three, four, five bonds. That's too many bonds on that carbon. So I have to fix it by those electrons going up to the nitrogen. And this starts with one lone pair on that nitrogen. So let's see what that makes. My carbon has this R group on it. This R prime just attacked that carbon. And my C triple bond N becomes a double bond N with two lone pairs on the nitrogen. It has a negative charge. It stays that way until I add some acid and water. I quench. That will grab that hydrogen to make this compound. These carbon double bond nitrogen compounds are called imines. And imines, if you heat them up with acid, water, a little heat, they can hydrolyze or undergo a hydrolysis reaction. And I may show you that mechanism in another video. You don't be able to figure it out or understand it. But what I want you to show you, what I want you to focus on right now is this carbon double bond nitrogen becomes a carbon double bond oxygen. You chop two bonds to the nitrogen, carbon double bond nitrogen, and you add the oxygen from the water and it becomes two bonds, carbon double bond oxygen. So imines are hidden ketones if you hydrolyze them. Two bonds to two bonds. That's how you make a ketone from a nitrile. Attack with a Grignard reagent, whatever carbon group you want. This is going to become an imine and that hydrolyzes to the carbonyl compound. Hey, subscribe to my channel so I can help you become more successful in organic chemistry.